after e4 d5 takes and then knight f6 bishop e5 check we're still looking at this bishop d7 the very last thing i'm going to mention about this and then we can move on to the next lines which are probably going to be like c6 also knight d7 a little bit of everything now bishop c4 as we know we've seen this move in the very first video of this city and there's something else i need to show about that so b3 bishop to b3 and after bishop to g4 knight f3 we've seen this line already and now knight finally recaptures the pawn so in this situation the black player hasn't really lost the pawn because it, he's been able to recapture it this is uh, an engine line after it was the best move by black so what to do now as we've seen in the previous pre in the previous videos we attack the bishop and after bishop h5 we continue attacking the bishop bishop to g6 and now queen to e2 e6 and knight to c3 so in the first video we went through c6 defending the knight what happens after knight takes the, we didn't see it in the first video because this is not the best move by black but of course we have to look at this move and understand what's wrong with it so we take with the d pawn of course because it helps the development of our bishop so after bishop to d6 now developing a piece white is already much better here because he's going to play h4 and either h6 or h5 it doesn't make much difference so let's start with h5 right well now the control of the square g5 belongs to white bishop g5 black cannot push f6 because we have an attack on e6 and so black will lose material and the queen doesn't have access to the c diagonal so the queen will have to move. of course bishop cannot go back to e7 because rook to d1 and white is already evaluated like plus five or something like this this is it will be really sad for black to move the knight here to block because then white has the possibility to play queen to b5 pinning uh, putting more pressure on the d7 square than bishop to a4 as well it's tremendous and when the queen moves away for instance then white continues with knight to e5 the idea to take the bishop very simply so bishop takes g5 then you just ignore it and you take the bishop because it comes with an attack on the rook whilst the bishop is hanging and if the bishop instead moves away and black doesn't take in g5 then queen f3 completes the masterpiece because you're threatening queen f7 and also queen a8 so here we are in this position after the knight takes in c3 and we uh, we take back with the d pawn then bishop to d6 h4 we're looking at h5 as we saw bishop g5 super strong move so we went through bishop e7 and the disaster that occurs afterwards what happens after queen to d7 looks like a normal move but white will now play knight to d4 this is coming with a tremendous attack knight e6 is the idea because after pawn takes then bishop e6 is very strong so let's make an example if black, play, black plays a normal move looks normal like knight to c6 i don't know whatever knight takes e6 this is coming with a, this discover threat uh, so it's too strong so it's going to be taken after bishop takes this is trapping the queen so in this position black cannot ignore what's happening on the on the e6 square the best move according to the engine is king to f8 also providing the queen from the possibility to go to e8 so she doesn't get trapped and now the best move is queen to f3 attacking the rook and also pinning the pawn in the f5 so after c6 well of course knight c6 will not be possible you got two attackers so after c6 white continues with knight a6 check and continues the game in a very favorable position one more variation in this position we went through h5 what happens after h6 this now is preventing the bishop from accessing the square and it's also providing the bishop the possibility to find the shelter in h7 white continues with h5 so after bishop h7 white continues with g5 super aggressive in this position c5 with the idea of playing c4 and trap the bishop cannot be played because of the beautiful move bishop to d5 right so let's say let's look at this line pawn takes in g5 in order to stop the obvious advancement of the pawn to g6 for instance placing this bishop maybe in g8 or maybe pawn takes but then there's freedom to attack e e7 uh, even with the bishop it's it's just terrible so after pawn takes in g5 bishop takes attacking the queen f6 cannot happen because the pawn in e6 is unguarded and the queen can't really move anywhere otherwise she will uh, incur into patterns we've seen before so after bishop to e7 and rook to d1 and queen moving to c8 for reasons we mentioned before 
white continues with h6 super strong move right the idea is to take on g7 so even if bishop takes you just ignore it for the moment you attack uh, g7 you're threatening the rook if the rook moves you're going to h7 it's a disaster you're still attacking this one and even if it's not the case let's see pawn takes and the best way to take back is with the rook now position is evaluated plus seven bishop's pinned black's got nowhere to put the king and the way white's pieces are placed is perfect after e4 d5 pawn takes and knight f6 we're still going through this move now bishop check and bishop blocking so as we saw in the first video uh, the bishop goes back to c4 this was a tricky move to make the bishop potentially go into d7 and in the next videos we're going to go through uh, c6 knight d7 all the ways to block we're still going through bishop d7 to block and so in this way we have preventing now the queen from also attacking square d5 so that means that white is still a clean pawn up in the previous video we went through e6 and b5 two of the best moves let's look at this thematic move c6 black gives up another pawn for the sake of development what to do now we take in order to keep the material advantage black takes back it looks like black is doing just fine with the development so white needs to speed it up knight f3 and now white is clean just a clean pawn up there's no compensation for black the most aggressive way to play would be e5 for instance this is met though by knight to g5 this creates some sort of like fried liver situation and white is already better here and it, like nothing really works except the best move the engine move which is bishop to c5 black will have to go through a really crazy variation and white has to be careful too just to make an example what we're trying to do here we have an attack on f7 clearly so if if well if black blocks it with the queen of course after bishop takes f7 and king moves and then bishop goes back to b3 black has lost another pawn he's got this silly isolated pawn there's no compensation whatsoever white is about the castle and the king is misplaced and, ca and has lost the right to castle so in this position you may argue why queen e7 why can white not play knight to f7 for example well of course after the rook move to g8 and uh, you know you move the knight away and then give a check maybe but then bishop takes rook the knight takes back you, you just actually you're not really winning material and it's not worth it uh, but yeah so if queen e7 you just take with the bishop and right now let's say if black blocks like this then still this is the best way to take because then you can take back with the knight and it looks like black has some really good development but your idea now is to take the bishop so when the queen moves away the queen will have to be careful let's say d7 d5 will not be possible because of c7 so the queen will have to be careful now the knight will have to take the bishop and after rook takes white will castle and after black castles black is down two pawns white's best move now is d3 the idea to play simply is a knight c3 bishop e3 and carry on with the good advantage best move by black most aggressive will be e4 here clearly you cannot take back otherwise you lose the queen for free and white simply goes on with knight to c3 so in case of this move which is a really good move simply go on with knight to c3 you're doubling the attack on the e4 pawn so after take take and queen takes back the best move to complete the line is bishop to e3 with the idea of going to a4 and put double pressure on a7 uh, in case black will prevent us from going to a4 by swapping queens it's still fine for white it's better for white going to an open end game with a bishop against the knight and an extra pawn so from the start we take the pawn and then after knight f6 check bishop blocks and then we go back we have a pawn advantage and after c6 we keep the pawn advantage by take take and now knight f3 so we're looking at e5 now this type of move is met by knight to g5 so sort of fried liver attack anyway best move by black knight is bishop to c5 it's a computer move of course the idea here after going knight f7 attacking queen and rook and black will be able to have ideas like moving the queen give a check putting the knight into the game the knight was defended by the bishop it's a super aggressive and i wouldn't recommend it best move by white in this situation is bishop takes that's check and after king f8 white has the castle it's important in order to avoid bishop takes with check and then knight g4 and the obvious so in this situation the white player will just move the bishop away and then uh white will just have a very good advantage there's nothing to worry here a move like h6 the idea to misplace the knight in order to capture the bishop doesn't work because of knight check attacking the two big guys so bishop is forced to take take and the last move of this line we're going to look at is knight to d4 which attacks the bishop 
and kind of stops the bishop from going anywhere so the black player wants to win a bishop pair if we go to c4 you know um, black will have idea of playing b5 then you have to withdraw the bishop and black might take it so the best move here is bishop to h3 white's position is evaluated as if it was up a piece so we're going to stop the line here so one more line from this variation after knight f7 and bishop check bishop d7 bishop c4 c6 so take take and knight f3 we went through a5 most aggressive what happens after e6 very normal move black has to remember that he just gave away a pawn the gambit is gone it's disappeared there's no compensation so let's simply close the line by playing the most normal moves castle is the best move and after bishop e7 or either way white would play d4 typical ideas of playing c3 the bishop will be able to go to these two squares and then place the knight in e5 that can never be taken because when it when it gets taken in this in this type of positions you can take in e5 the knight will no longer be able to stay in f6 anymore and the bishop in d3 with the knight and the queen will uh, provide a lot of pressure against black after castling for example white's best move is rook to e1 and this modern setup of the scandinavia with knight to f6 gambling a pawn didn't go anywhere so let's just make some sample moves and then we'll close this video Queen to b6, preventing the development of this bishop because of the threat in b2. You just play c3, creating this famous pawn chain in such position. Rook to c8, putting a rook on an open file. Still, you go on with knight to d2. What other move can be played here? Something like bishop to d6, with the idea of rook e8 and e5 maybe. Well, fine, bishop to d3. This is the best move, and after rook e8, the position is evaluated as if white was almost half a piece. So it's just... Uh, much more comfortable for white and white now here can play knight to c4 for example and win the bishop pair from the opponent if black hadn't played rook to e8 but rather played something like queen to c7 it looks very normal in order to preserve the bishop pair at least then white will still play knight to c4 and then if black wants to preserve the bishops then he will go back to e7 and then a4 idea obviously to play a5 a6 and exploit the majority on the queen side if a5 then best move queen e2 and now there's no way for the queen to play on the queen side and white has a plan of playing g3 and bishop to f4 which is thematic in these positions 